The last time you saw me, I was driving a blue Corsa VXR and was doing this. Unfortunately, she had to go. She got to a point where she was beyond economical repair. And then I brought one of these. And then, three months later, this happened. Um, and I didn't have the funds to buy her back and fix her up. Already that much time on my hands, she was working and everything. So, the money that I got back from the car, I brought myself, as you see from the thumbnail and the title most likely, and going on the hoodie, another big song. So as you can see, I brought a 2017 Corsa EVXR with a lot of optional extras, such as front parking sensors, although this one's decided to corrode a little bit. Rear parking sensors, a front radar which detects the car in front, and then this thing flashes red and shouts at me if it thinks I'm going to crash. Um, it does get a little annoying. It does have aftermarket uh, suspension side repeaters. Full leather Recaros, which come with heated seats for the driver and the passenger, as well as a heated steering wheel, traction control button, heated uh, steering wheel, which I literally just said, lane assist, uh, that's another parking sensor button, it's got Apple CarPlay, which obviously I'm using my phone to record, so I can't show you. Uh, OnStar, which doesn't exist anymore, Vauxhall shut down uh, the servers for OnStar. Automatic lighting, which believe it or not is actually really hard to find, of course if EVXR, which has got automatic lights. Every single one I was looking at didn't have auto lights. And the most important optional extra this car has, which I believe is like two and a half thousand pounds uh, optional extra, is the performance pack, which means it comes with a limited slip differential. Uh, bigger brake discs, bigger brake pads obviously, Brembo and calipers uh, which are four pop instead of uh, having one cylinder. And they've also got Coney shocks which um, I believe make the car sit 10 mil lower um, than a standard VXR and I also believe that they're FSD, Frequency Selective Damping, I think it stands for. So it changes itself um, to give you a smoother ride, but also it helps with handling. I'll just flip the camera around. See, so yeah, I can't really show you the limited slip differential, obviously, but that's the arch gap standard. I just about squeeze three fingers in that gap. And the brick of brake discs with the bigger brake gallopers. Uh, that's only on the front, the rears are just the standard size ones. Obviously the fronts do pretty much all your braking so they didn't really need that upgrade. I just want to give a massive shout out to Tim Martin, he's the one that picked up my blue Corsa from me. Um, he specialised in the VXRs and there's loads of parts for sale from interior bits to body panels to engines you name it, he's got it. So whether you need parts for yours or you've decided you want a hassle-free way to get rid of it, he's the man for the job. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. He's still currently working on a website, 
but I'll link you to his Facebook so then you can still get in touch with him. Come inside the car now, it's just starting to get quite windy out there and I didn't want to affect the sound too much. But yeah, the performance pack was uh, a deal breaker really when I was looking around at getting one. If it didn't have the performance pack, then I wasn't going to get it. Uh, the green, I really did want the green, um, but I would have settled for the blue one if it was the right spec and it had everything. Um, this one has done 59,000 miles now and I paid uh, just over 10,000 pounds for it. So I don't think that was too bad in the grand scheme of things. To say a Corsa D, a decent Corsa D, now you're looking anywhere from six, uh, well, five to seven, I'd say, for a decent one. So picking up a decent Corsa E, which Dutch would, I've not had any issues with since I've had it. And then I'll happily pay that extra money for a Corsa E. So yeah, overall, I'm happy with the car. I'm happy with everything with the car. Um, I do have a few ideas of stuff I want to do to it um, and I do have a few ideas for videos for the car. Um, I have another look at YouTube um, and there's a lot more videos for a Corsa D than there is a Corsa E. Um, I'm not saying that there's no Corsa E videos but there's a lot more for the D and hopefully that's something that I want to change. I want to get more Corsa E videos out there. I mean they've got the same engine as the D, um, the same chassis. Um, these run at 202 horsepower compared to the 192 horsepower. So they're basically just made the Nürburgring Corsa D VXR, the standard Corsa E VXR. So yeah, please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.